disclosure, I was employed by the Parent Education Network at one time. Um, uh, and I'm very fond still of the agency because of their work with uh, parents of students with disabilities. <clears throat> I'm very close to this issue. <laughs> I thought <laughs> when Representative Carroll was speaking, I thought, you know, I, when you can identify with an issue, when you've had a loved one or, or s several loved ones who've gone through this, um, anyway, I talked earlier about uh, having a loved one who had been bullied in school. And when you said it could be f by the student of the year, um, or, you know, the people who are popular in the building, and many times, um, having worked as an advocate for students with disabilities, um, you see students with disabilities <clears throat> having the whole situation turned around where they become the target of the um, discipline mm -hmm. because the administration doesn't recognize that they're the target of the bullying. Mm -hmm. I actually happen to have teachers who were compassionate enough to share with me, with my person, the difficult times on special events day when the football team and cheerleaders were all dressed in their uniforms and uh, for students who had a physical disability, those were the toughest days because those were the days when the kids who are, you know, the popular kids, the student of the year, the, the this, the that, um, when they feel empowered, those are the days when the targets of bullying suffer the most. Mm -hmm. And this was a um, teacher that shared with me, was an exchange teacher from uh, Britain. And uh, he sat down and shared with me, and he said, I just can't believe in your country this is, this, this goes on to the extent that it does. And I certainly had no idea that I was going to share this today as I came to this hearing. It doesn't just hurt the student, it has an impact on the entire family because I know firsthand how that student comes home. And the reaction of the terrible day that they have faced when they walk in the door. And they can share their true feelings and their outrage with their family when they haven't been able to share it with school because school doesn't, doesn't want to listen. Anyway, I wanted to ask you, Kay, um, you don't mind me calling you Kay. I, um, I know that the Parent Education Network collects a lot of data on all kinds of issues in regarding children with special needs. So as you have seen this issue come to the forefront, uh, are you seeing a big increase in this issue uh, through the Parent Education Network and the data that you collect? 